Okay, this is a quick one about renting or buying property in Spain um, from what I've seen so far. Um, the first thing is it doesn't differ a lot from the Philippines where online pricing um, can be much higher than what you can get on visiting in person. Um, one thing I did notice is that real estate prices can vary considerably. You can have houses of similar values next to each other and there could be 20,000 euros difference on them. Um, I'm not sure how they work out the pricing structure because it doesn't seem to be right. Um, and I know somebody's going to go, oh, but maybe in different areas. Well, they're not. You know, I'm, I had a look at where these properties were and they were, some of them are on the same estates. But they fluctuate in price so much. Um, so it's just something to be aware of. But also, if you stop somewhere, um, like say, stop for a hotel for a week to look around at houses to buy, there is a lot of houses for sale. Um, if you want peace of mind, go with a real estate agent and help them, let them help you through the process um, because there's fees you may not be aware of. Um, I believe you pay 10% when you buy a house and pay 10% when you sell it. So there's extra fees there that you may not be aware of if you don't know the system. Real estate agent know it, but you may find it better to actually find the lawyer first um, and use a lawyer. The other thing I noticed is the best prices for property I've seen um, advertised were actually on a um, a lawyer's notice board outside his office. I had a look at a couple of real estate agents and their prices were significantly higher than his. Now I assume he's making enough money on the um, transfers of houses and stuff like that that he hasn't whacked on a commission. But I also found speaking to some of the guys already in Spain, they were saying that some of these real estate agents are sticking up to 15,000 um, euros on top of properties that they shouldn't be doing. Um, now, I'm not sure about the commission system in Spain, but I know in the Philippines it was supposed to be 5%, but you would find some people were adding like a third of the value of the property plus the 5% because um, they'd skim it off the top before the seller would ever even know what their house sold for. Um, maybe Spain's doing exactly the same. When I say Spain is real estate agents, it's a bit unfair to say Spain. Um, and I know um, now that the energy surveys have to be done in Spain on properties. Um, they started fining them recently um, for not having the energy surveys. It's a bit comical because most of them have energy efficiencies right near the bottom of the scale because nobody really bothers. Um, the structure isn't built for it. It's not You're not going to find many with insulation, if any. I haven't seen one. Um, so the, the, the structures aren't built for insulation yet. Um, but then again, if you get solar panels um, and, uh, and there's a good setup, it's probably cheaper to actually run air conditioning than with solar panels than it is to invest in all the energy saving stuff. <laughs> uh, I know it sounds a bit bizarre, but it's probably true. I haven't really looked into it, too, so don't quote me on that. Um, but if you're serious about looking for a property and have limited budget, I advise walking around because everyone has these little signs. I think it says Verde, V-R-D-E, um, which I assume means sale. I haven't looked it up yet. But if somebody's got property for sale, the real estate agents stick these little signs on all the properties. Um, and I know where I was in Terebeka. Walking around the estate there, which is quite a large estate, it's got some water park and stuff in there. Um, there must be at least 20 houses and at least 10 um, townhouses. Townhouses are um, the equivalent of a terraced house in the UK, um, but it's not always two stories up, three stories up. They can be single story, but you can go up. Um, that's why I was looking at those because. I've seen some for about £30,000 and I'm thinking, okay, it's only a one bedroom now, but I come from the construction industry, I could put another floor on that, you know.
I could have, soon have a two, three bedroom. And I'd rather pay for something in cash and have no mortgage. So, um, but the point is, when you meet, you go meet people in person, you can find out how much the property is face to face with the owners. Um, obviously, real estate agents are going to advise you to do that. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with the law and stuff, then maybe it's better to stick with a real estate agent if you're worried about th those problems. Um, but I'm sure if you get a good lawyer, you can do most of the transfer stuff yourself um, without the agent being involved. But like I said, all depends on the buyer. Um, because if it's a real estate agent and you need a mortgage, maybe they can help with that. Maybe they can help with moving and other, everything else. For me and my wife and the kids, we're going to be moving there from scratch. So any furniture in that is going to be stuff that we get there or I'll be hauling over from the UK. Any um, anything we do is going to be involved more with a lawyer for anything to do with construction permits and stuff. It's not going to be a real estate agent thing. Um, but I'm still looking at real estate agents just to see if they got something worth looking at. Um, the same as I'll tell them, you know, I'm quite direct in saying that's too much, you know, because you, you can push the prices down. It's still a buyer's market. The market is starting to move, but there's it's still a buyer's market. There's a lot of properties out there that um, are looking for people. Um, the other side of that being the amount of people I've seen in Spain, there's a huge rental market there. Um, Stating the obvious, I know, but for those that are unaware, there's a lot of people that will rent properties um, because of the tourism. Because you'll get the the British tourists going seasonally. You'll get the pensioners going the winter from the UK to escape the cold because it's cheap to live in Spain. Then run the the uh, the heating system. You'll get um, the people coming out of Barcelona and the other big cities for their holidays in August and what have you. So it's getting to the point where it's all year round people wanting to move to the coast uh, for rentals. So there's a potentially the ability to rent a property out all the time. On top of that, if you're looking to rent, I would say go and knock some doors. Um, Okay, you can set it. I know like a lot of people don't want the aggravation of sorting this stuff out when you're trying to find who owns what, where they own it. But if you're serious about moving there long term, I would go and knock some doors um, because you'll find you'll save some money. Now, 100 euros doesn't sound a lot, um, but if it's 100 euros off your rent per month and you're there for two years, that's nearly two and a half thousand euros. It's, it's better in your pocket than someone else's. But with uh, real estate agents, there'll be fees and stuff. They'll set the, the value. There's always going to be people making money off it. But if you're direct, you can negotiate. And also you might find they'll throw in satellite TV. They might do other stuff. Because they've met you face to face, they know who they're renting to. Um, it's like anything. If you're dealing with a person, um, directly you're more likely to be um, more uh, what would you call it it's not polite it's an, I can't remember the word off the top of my head but basically you're more um, accommodating so the it's not just a case of there's an empty shell but hey we've got some beds in the in the uh, the spare spare room we can have you can we've got a tv if you need a tv because it's a pain in the backside we don't really watch it blah 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 it's in the way and you can get a better deal because you get your rent down get all these extra bits in your house um so things to look for um i always say don't rush into things and it's the same with renting or buying take your time everybody wants you to buy quickly everyone wants you to sign and agree to rent quickly but the fact is there's a reason they're doing it because you could probably get a better deal elsewhere if you look around. You could get one with a pool instead of having a shared pool or one without a pool. You know, it's, it's you've got to look around and see what's available. Okay, thanks for watching.